hello welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a simple fascinator with crinoline your thread your needle alice band scissors candle gum machine and sewing feathers all you need to do is to pleat the crinoline step by step in this video i'm using two yards of crinoline you can use same or more depending on how large you want the fascinator to be or how catchy you want it to be so i'm done pleating now i use my thread and my needle to sew it together yes you sew it tightly so that it does not fall off or the design and does not get distorted so that's what i'm doing right now using my thread and my needle and after sewing it you give it a twist to cover up um, empty spaces in between the crinoline after the twist or what you call turn you now add your sewing feathers if you intend to use a feather because you can also use this fascinator without a feather and it's still very beautiful without a feather but now i'm using a sewing feather because i'm giving it to a child I know children with feelings, they like it so much. So after that, you now attach your Alice band. You can use your candle gum to attach Alice band. You can sew the Alice band. You can use UHU gum. But in this video, I'm sewing it because my candle gum is not handy at the moment. So I'm sewing it. You have to sew it tightly. Like I said, I'm giving it to a child. So I had to take my time and sew it very well so that it will not fall off. That's what I'm doing now, and wow, the fascinator is great. I have to put it on my door for you to see the beauty of this fascinator. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thing. 